okay guys um welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that once i post video you get an alert okay so i have uh, two fabrics for this um hair bonnet okay so this one is my lining is a, a door face and this one is my main fabric okay and i also have an elastic okay what would that mean the length we use that you have to use to is the circumference of your head okay so i have to keep that aside so guys okay guys um welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that once i post video you get an alert okay so today we'll be, we'll be making this beautiful hair bonnet okay so i have two pieces of fabric one will serve as my line one one will be for the main fabric okay so right now we'll be, this this um, bonnet will be a very large one okay so here it comes i have um a fabric of a okay i have a fabric of a 29 inches from this end to the other end is 29 inches and so guys i folded that place okay so that the camera will get to it so right now we're measuring the width the width because of i folded is 14.5 um, but when you open it up it's still 29 inches that means the total fabric you use the length will be 29 inches and the width will be 29 inches as you can see I folded it so take notes the next thing I'll be doing right now as it's folded I folded it to two so next thing I'll do right now is to fold it again into two okay yes. okay guys I folded it into two okay so it all depends on the second friends you want if you want it as big as what you saw in the picture what you do is to do as i'm going to do right now so from here now we're going to measure the the the, the desired circumference or the length we want okay so from this tip right now see it's just see at the tip that's where you place your tip not at this very end okay so what you do right now is to put your tape there okay and measure um 14 inches that's what we're using for this our bonnet 14 inches okay so as you can see i've already chopped it but i'm chopping it again okay 14 inches good so the next thing we'll do right now is to measure 14 inches take it all around the satin okay so that is what i'm doing right now 14 inches the next i'll mark another 14 inches okay i'll take it all around 14 inches okay so guys as you can see uh, it's quite easy okay so if you have any question drop it for me on the comment section and i promise to reply you okay so guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel okay so that is it so we've gotten our 14 inches all round okay perfect so let me do let me cut it Here it comes okay so right now if you open it up we'll be having a very big circle as you can see very big circle like that okay so this is what you, you should get so the next thing i'll do right now is to cut my is to cut my line in the same okay So guys, I've I've cut it. Yeah, it's, is it? 
this is a big circle too okay as you can see is a circle so the next thing we'll do is to get this this is my right side of the fabric okay you get the main fabric remember these are lining so the next thing i'll do right now is to face the right side of this too so they can face each other okay can face each other good so the next thing we'll have to do right now is to pin it all around okay so i'll pin it all around and get back to you okay so you have to pin it to get the accurate measurement as you can see okay guys as you can see i've pinned it all around okay and it's very necessary you do so okay so the next thing that i did again is to mark half inch on it because that's where i'll be making my stitches and it's very necessary too that you mark so that you can get accurate circle okay so right now the next thing you have to do you have to leave some inches open so that you that's where you bring it out from okay so that is it so right now for the sake of this tutorial and how big this is i think i will leave um i will leave uh, four inches open or if you want you can use five inches depending on what the size you feel that your hand will enter okay so i will leave four inches open so I have to mark it so that you see how i did okay see it four inches see the mark so see the starting point okay so all i have to do is this i will sew through this chalk line that's my half inch and i'll leave this point open okay that's where i'll bring out the what i made okay so let me go to the machine i'll stitch it and get back to you okay guys as you can see i've stitched it all round and round leaving this place open as i told you okay so the next thing you will do right now is to notch it understand Remember that every every sewing you're making and it has curve, you have to notch so it can properly lie flat. Okay, so you notch all through of the half inch all through and take it off. You have to trim it off. Okay, so let's do that together. You trim it. Okay, guys um, the next thing you'll do right now is to now come out from here to face the right side so that you can see the outcome of the whole thing to bring it out this is this okay so remember here you see open then the next thing you should do right now is to give it a good press okay eye on it so that the whole thing will still look neat okay guys um, i have a flat iron that it's very neat as you can see this is the back the back is just like the front this is nice okay so the next thing that i'm doing right now is to mark one and a half inch all around the circle that's why i, I say to iron so i can get the accurate measurement without ironing you will not get it properly so let's do that right now 1.5 1 1.5 1 as you can see i've marked 1.5 all around it so neatly i like the gerbs okay okay guys um i've um i've marked the circle so you know why we chopped it is because of we are going to sew on that line okay we are going to sew all around here the 1.5 straight okay so remember that here i will still be open after sewing this 1.5 okay so i'll sew it and get back to you okay okay guys um as you can see i've um stitched on the 1.5 line okay so the next thing we we'll have to do right now is from this line now okay you mark another half inch this will serve as our band casing okay 
so you mark half inch from this line forward not at this side okay forward you mark it chalk it you know it's good to chalk when you chalk things you sew accurately so you have to chalk it all around it okay guys as you can see i've um, chopped the half inch for uh, as in, in front of this line okay so um, i just don't, don't want you to mistake it and go backward no you sew it as in you're going to mark that half inch in front of this our previous line okay so the next thing you have to do right now remember that here is still open and i stitch on it okay I stitch on it for the first 1.5 inch okay so right now we are going to sew again at this half inch please chalk your work is necessary sew at this half inch again you sew it all around this is where you will pass your bands okay so you have to sew it all around okay remember when you sew it all around it will remain half and it will be half an inch as in half an inch open okay so sew it all around okay so I'll, i'm going to sew my own and still get back to you okay please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel okay thank you okay guys um as you can see i have uh, stitched it again so we now have two lines and in between it we have our half inch opening okay so the next thing you do you get your rubber band this is a band you measure your head circumference so mine is 23 so all i have to do is to cut 23 on this band okay so if very necessary you do that so you measure your head circumference accurately and cut accordingly okay so why you do so is because you know you have to tie it too so you have to if you don't measure it the, you feel uncomfortable on it to be too tight and you know this is for sleep and uh, for comfort sake and if it's too tight believe me you will not like it so right now i'm going to cut 23 inches i'll do right now is to hold this at this end and pass it through this hole okay hey guys this is it as you can see how beautiful is looking already so the next thing i'll do is to remove my safety pin and tie the rubber band together okay to secure it okay that's it so the next thing we'll have to do now remember that here is still open the only thing you have to do is to push it inside you see so easy okay you have to push it inside okay then you follow this line and stitch it back that's all you have to do because there's a line already on it so you have to follow this line too and stitch it too okay okay guys um this is it this is our beautiful hair bonnet so easy to achieve okay <laughs> so guys thanks for watching this far okay if you have any question concerning this hair bonnet drop it for me at the comment section and i will answer you okay then don't forget to join us on our facebook community at so with donna Bray. okay i will appreciate you if you join us okay please subscribe to my channel your subscription matters to me okay subscribe subscribe and support me do have a nice day okay bye